What's up everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com taking your car questions. This is a quick video question. So I uh, came in on email, I was not expecting you to reply. I was binge watching your videos. I'm currently a B-Tech at a Ford dealership and we're going through a buyout. The new company came in Friday, promised us a bunch of work from them buying used cars and our body shop work from their other dealership in town. When Monday rolled around, they sent our entire body shop home Gave them 48 hours to get their tools out. Wow, that there's, there's probably some legal things with that. Our new GM is a car salesman. He has been caught lying to techs and service this past week. A lot of other techs are getting stressed out about it. Could you give me some advice as what you might do in this situation? Should I start looking for a job elsewhere or keep wrenching through it and hope for the best? Yeesh. So I have never been through a dealership buyout. Um, I know many of the rest of you guys watching have. Uh, it happens a pretty good amount of times. What are you going to do, though? Dude, uh, God, um, you know, I, I wouldn't worry so much that the GM is a car salesman because almost all GMs are car salesmen. They almost all come up through the sales side, not the service side. So they don't get they don't get the service side nearly as much as, um, you know, if they were to come from service, that just makes sense. But what do you do? Um, man, I would, I would probably start looking for another job. I might not jump on another job right away, uh, but I would definitely start looking and putting some feelers out. You need to give yourself as many options as you possibly can. If they came in and said to a body shop on Monday morning, you got two days to get your tools out, there's very little stopping that from happening to you. They may want to flush the whole juju of the old company out and bring in some new people. So, you know, when I read this email, my gut thought was I'd be out without like really analyzing the situation. And it's hard to do because I don't know all the details, but without a full analysis of the situation, just like pure instinct, my gut said I'd be out. If a company is willing to come in after you know a week and fire a whole department, uh, that's scary news. That's that's really scary news, and I don't know that that's a company that I would want to work for. Um, I don't know that it's a company I'd have a choice to work for. You know, the the other thing you got to look at is what are your other options? Are your other options any better? Is a dealership across town suck worse than these guys? You you know you never you never know until you start researching this. So I don't have a here's what you should do. This is the best thing to do. Um, all I have is putting myself in the situation and trying to analyze, you know, what are my benefits now versus with this new company? What's my schedule now versus this new company? Um, if you're interested in advancement throughout the automotive world, what are my advancement opportunities now versus with this new company? Uh, that, that whole, like, they fired a whole department thing, though, is, like, scratching at my brain really hard. We have to look at the, the broad the broad approach. Are they going to fire your service manager and bring in someone that only cares about numbers and doesn't care about customers? Uh, or are they going to keep the department that you're in and, and let them function and exist the way they are? Are you current, or I should say, were you currently happy at the time when the previous company owned the dealership? Okay. How much different is it really going to be? You know, uh, a manager lying to a, an employee, nothing new, right? It happens all the time. Um, it, it, if it becomes a moral thing for you, then, then bounce. One of the best things about being a technician, uh, and I think a lot of us technicians really undersell this, is if you're good, there's a spot for you anywhere, okay? Even if you're a Mazda tech and a good Mazda tech and you need a change, you can get hired at another dealership. A Volkswagen dealership will hire you if you're a good person and a good technician. There'll be a learning curve, of course, but duh, right? It's a new job, that always happens. So dude, I would, I would. this is the advice I always give everyone. Get myself a piece of paper, and I would write down the pros, and I would write down the cons, and I would weigh whether I wanted to have that specter of management coming in and saying, all right, Charles, you're done. You make too much money, you're out, or your hours are too low this week, you're out. I would weigh the good with the bad, and I think the answer will present itself somewhere about two thirds into that research on really what you should do. Uh, I also, you know, what does your gut say? Again, my gut on this one said I'd be out. What was your gut the first instant you heard the whole buyout thing? Um, explore that, because a lot of times your, your gut or your first instinct is right. But now that you have all the facts, 
perhaps you can come to a different conclusion. So dude, I wish I could just say do this, but uh, that is not fair. It's bad advice. You need to really make this decision on your own. Hopefully I can just steer you a little bit, you know, kind of kind of wrangle you in a direction or at least wrangle you in a way to help figure out the best direction for you, the best direction for your career, but most importantly, the best direction for you and your family. Uh, that That is far and away the most important thing, at least in my opinion. Um, jobs come and go. There's a million other dealerships out there. You can move to another city and get a great job. Uh, none of that is worth the sacrifice of your family. And, uh, you know, for whatever that means for you, at least in my opinion anyway. So guys, thanks so much for the questions. Again, if you want to submit a question, right down here below is my email. Put question for Charles in the subject. Don't forget to follow me on all the socially platforms that are right down here below. All of them are Humble Mechanic. Also, you can support the show by joining crew members as well as the Patreon campaign that I got. Head on over there and throw some support. I appreciate all of that if you'd like to. If not, hey, that's cool too. But uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.